Alright guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a sake taste test and I bought six different types of sake here. Um, some of them you don't have to warm up. Some of them you actually do, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm all of it up and then we're going to go through a taste test to see which one's actually better than the other one. Alright, some of them are pricey, some of them are cheap. Alright, so first, well, can't do this video with sushi, man. So I got myself some sushi here, a lot of it. All right, we got about 18 rolls there, so whew, I'm gonna enjoy this while I boil this up. So, so let's get the portable stove going. I'm gonna set them all right here. I'm gonna open it all up, stick it in there, you know, get it to a nice boiling temperature, but not too hot to drink, all right? Alright, right now it's just heating up. I'm gonna get it to a boiling temperature and then I'm just gonna let it settle and uh, make all the sake nice and warm. And I got the shot glass right here ready to take shots. So I'm gonna go by one by one first and see which one's better. I'm not a sake expert or anything like that, so I'm just try it for the first time. Oh yeah. Woo! Look at this. Damn. Woo! Mm. Okay, it's a little too hot now. I gotta turn this off. Sitting about 140. Okay, okay, this is just way too hot now. Woo! That's hot. That's hot. Need some gloves. Woo! That's just way too hot. Now I gotta wait even longer to drink this. Look at that steam. Oh. All right, so right now sitting about 122 Fahrenheit, which is not bad. All right, I'm still gonna drink it. That's not so hot and it's 50 Celsius. Okay, I'm gonna take that out and we're gonna start with the first one here. This is going to be premium sake. This is straight from Japan. This is Hakutsuru. 15.5% in ABV and 300 ml premium sake. Oh, you can still see. <laughs> Steam's coming right out of that. Okay. Ooh. Whoa. It's like drinking hot water. Ooh. That's pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. I used to drink sake back in the days when I used to go KBB. We used to have some warm sake. Yeah. That's not bad. All right. Let me have another one, actually. Okay, sake is like rice wine that's what it is so i'm pretty much taking like shots of wine and stuff like that let's try another one pretty strong pretty smooth though it's it's very um light i don't know how to rate sake to be honest to be honest i, I don't know that was pretty good i like that one so i'm gonna put this one to the side i'm gonna try the next one okay mm. mm-hmm all right, so the next one I'm gonna try is the Hakutsuru Draft Sake. This is 14% in ABV, 300 ml. Let's give this one a shot. Woo. They all smell the same though. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, this one I don't like that much. Yeah, it goes down pretty harsh pretty harsh like the one I just had here which is the premium sake this one went down a lot more smoothly versus this one and apparently this one is a lot more cheaper and this one has to pop off lid this one's a little rough and a little edgy yeah I don't really agree with this one I'm not such a big fan no I'll have one more mm. ah. Ah. this one has like more of a kind of like medicine taste it just goes bad in the tongue all right Definitely gonna need a sushi bite off that. That is one that I just don't like. Okay, I'm definitely gonna say that. Mm. Mm -mm. All right, going on to the next one. This is going to be Nigori Cream de Sake. This is 15% in ABV, 300 ml. Ingredients all the same, water, rice, and koji. But the thing about this one, I don't know what's at the bottom right here. As you guys can see that, I might have to actually mix it first. Okay, that's not gonna work. Maybe if I... Just, well, I just empty it. Oh, look at this. I give it a nice mix. 
There we go. You know what the coloration of this looks like when you wash rice, uh, white rice especially, and all uh, that starch comes off. That's what it looks like. All right, so let's see what this one was about. Ooh. Whoa, that's weird. Creme de sake, okay. Has, I, I'm not too sure. I think this one has more of a little candy-like taste. I don't know, I gotta try it again. I like the color of it though. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I'm definitely gonna say this. You swirl it on your mouth, it, it, it's just like regular sake. When you drink it, it's pretty harsh, but once everything goes down and the flavor tangles in your mouth, it tastes a lot better. It tastes a little bit like, like I said, candy-like, but it has a nice aftertaste. I'm gonna say this one is pretty impressive. Ooh, that one's not bad. That one is not bad at all. All right, going on to the next one. This one is called Jun Mai Jingo, 14.5% uh, in ABV, 300 ml, product same thing of Japan. This one's superior sake. Same recipes in the back. All right, let's, let's try this one out. This one has a nice cool bottle. I like the blue. Jun Mai, okay, let's try this one. Whew. Mm. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, give me some sushi with that one. Okay, I'm gonna definitely say something about this one. Um, most of the flavor kicks in at the beginning. The aftertaste, it, it tends to lighten down, so it's it's not too edgy like this one where you take it all the way down. Beautiful taste in the beginning though. Once it goes down, most of that taste dissipates, right? Mmm. Mmm. I forgot to smell these actually. This one has a nice smell. Let's try that one again. I don't know if you can get drunk off sake. Let's try it again. Whoa. 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 Like I said, at the beginning, it hits you. Afterwards, easy. All right, next one. I believe this is the same brand as this one, is it? Oh, no. They're very alike, but I think they're different versions. Okay, this one is the Sayuri Nigori Sake. All right, this is 12.5 in ABV and 300 ml, straight from Japan. All right, this one says, uh, please shake before serving. So we're just gonna pour a little bit and then we're gonna shake it. Okay, let's go. So, oh, look, look what I see in there. I see like something in there, it's like little pebbles. That's why they want you to shake it. Okay, let's try this one out. This is uh, Sayuri, okay? <laughs> they all smell the same. Ooh. That's a beautiful taste. And, and having it like 12.5 an ABV, I think that's perfect, to be honest. 15 is a little harsh, but depending on how they craft it, really. This one's actually really good. It's very similar to this one. The, the flavor is just not as harsh. All the flavor hits you immediately, and then the aftertaste, it goes down really smoothly. I'm definitely going to say that, so I'm going to try it again. Hmm. Oof. Okay, I thought it was good, but um, but it's it. Wait, no. Oh, it's undecisive. Ah, okay. Okay, this one's above average. Right? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this one's above average. I can say. Going on to the last one, but not least, this is the most expensive one. Actually, <laughs> this is one of the most expensive ones I bought out of this one. Okay, this one is Tamanaho Hikari, 100% since 1673. This is 16.2 in ABV, 300 ml. This is pure rice super premium sake with the same recipes as well. Super premium sake. So this must be some like good stuff here. So let's get this one going. This is like actually one of the strongest ones, 16.2. It's a super premium, all right? Whoa. Okay, I'm definitely gonna say this one's super, super clean. It's just like this one, the one I tried right here. This one, it's really smooth. It's a killer. Yeah, this one's pretty smooth. It's a, it's a bit more pungent when it comes to the taste. I don't know if it's based on the ABV or, I mean, it could be based on the ABV. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try this one more time. Okay, first of all, it's not too many taste. 
Whew, that's just like straight sake, bro. It's the most ex expensive one too. Like $17 for this. And you can just down this like nothing. Just like a couple shots and it's done already. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start rating these right now. I'm gonna see which one's strong. Well, which one's better than the other one. Ooh, against this one and this one, these two belong in the top, sort of. But this is just based on my personal tastes. Um, it's not what other people think. The cream one, it's kind of nice, but I'm definitely gonna have to say it like this. The blue one's all right too, but it's not the shittiest one. Whew. Okay, the draft is definitely here. This one, I'm gonna say has to be above cream. The cream's a little weird for me to be honest, but it's not bad, it's it's nice. These two, I'm definitely gonna try again. And I think this position of this is just right. Now against these two, I gotta retry this again. Okay, so I'm gonna try this one once again. I'll try for this one. Okay, I just made up my mind. Though. Okay, that's definitely how it's gonna be rated. I thought this was actually better than this one, to be honest. This one has a lot more sting, a lot. It's a lot more edgy. It's a lot more uh, something I don't like. One little thing I like about it. This one too. I don't like one thing about it, but this one is really strong and it's really smooth. First of all. So this one's really well crafted and I know basing on the price, not the most expensive is always the best, but this one I think is better than most of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this series, not series, well this episode. This one doesn't have a lid so I cannot close it, so I have no choice to finish the most dirtiest one here. That was disgusting. I'm definitely gonna save this later. Next time for live streams or whatever. But for now, I'm out here.